Hey everyone, you probably already heard about the rare supermoon eclipse that is happening this weekend, September 27th and 28th on Sunday or Monday, depending where you live. According to NASA, this is a rare event because it's a combination of a supermoon and an eclipse that is occurring for the first time in 30 years. The last time it occurred was in 1982, and it won't occur again until 2033. Space.com explains that a supermoon occurs when the moon reaches its closest point to the Earth. When this happens, the moon appears from our perspective on Earth to be 14% larger than normal. This does not occur every cycle, but approximately every 14 full moons. But this weekend, the supermoon will occur at the same time the moon is moving into the Earth's shadow for a lunar eclipse. This is called a supermoon lunar eclipse and is far more rare. In the past 100 years, it has only occurred five previous times in 1910, 1928, 1946, 1964, in 1982. An interesting side note about the last supermoon eclipse in 1982 is that it occurred in the year the celestial configuration described in Bible prophecy almost occurred. It was very close that year, but it did not reach its exact alignment until 2012. That celestial configuration described in the ancient book of Revelation is also rare and only occurs about 12 times in the 3000 year period from 1 AD to 3000 CE. So that's an interesting side note since we know these ancient prophecies are actually coming true and seem to have been pointing specifically to the seven year period we're in right now with a very sharp spotlight on 2015 and 2016. The eclipse this weekend is the sixth rare supermoon eclipse since 1910, and the next one will not occur until the year 2033. The eclipse will be visible in the shaded areas on this map in the evening of Sunday, September 27th, and the morning of Monday, September 28th, depending where you live. You can see on this map the entire eclipse will be visible from the eastern United States, all of South America, Western Africa, and Western Europe. In the western United States, the moon will be rising while it's entering the umbra of the eclipse, which you can see here is when the moon will be turning red. In most of Mexico and the midwestern U.S., the moon will be rising while entering the penumbra of the eclipse, which is just before the eclipse occurs. And in eastern Africa and Europe, the last part of the eclipse will be visible at sunset. The eclipse will occur between 9.07 p.m. Sunday night and 12.27 a.m. Monday morning UT time. You can find the eclipse time by either looking at this time zone map and adding or subtracting from UTC time, which is in the middle of the map here, or you can go to timeanddate.com and enter your location to find the exact time the eclipse is occurring in your area. I'll leave links to the articles and websites below this video, and for more information on the ancient biblical prophecies that have been coming true in recent years, you can also check out this playlist here. It's also linked below. I hope you have a good weekend, and I'll talk to you next week.